The Miao is an ethnic group belonging to South China, and is recognized by the government of China as one of the 55 official minority groups. Miao is a Chinese term and does not reflect the self-designations of the component groups of people, which include with some variant spellings Hmong, Hmub, Zong, Qo Shang, and Ahmao. The Chinese government has grouped these people and other non-Miao peoples together as one group, whose members may not necessarily be either linguistically or culturally related, though the majority are members of Miao Yao language family, which includes the Hmong, Hmub, Zong and Ahmao and the majority do share cultural similarities. Because of the previously given reasons, many Miao peoples cannot communicate with each other in their native tongues and have different histories and cultures. A few groups designated as Miao by the PRC do not even agree that they belong to the ethnic group, though most Miao groups, such as the Hmong and HMUB, do agree with the collective grouping as a single ethnic group, Miao. The Miao live primarily in southern China's mountains, in the provinces of Guizhou, Yunnan, Sichuan, Hubei, Hunan, Guangxi, Guangdong and Hainan. Some sub-groups of the Miao, most notably the Hmong people, have migrated out of China into Southeast Asia Burma, Myanmar, Northern Vietnam, Laos and Thailand. Following the communist takeover of Laos in 1975, a large group of Hmong refugees resettled in several Western nations, mainly in the United States, France, and Australia. There has been a recent tendency by Hmong Americans to group all Miao peoples together under the term Hmong because of their disdain for the Chinese term Miao. This, however, fails to recognize that the Hmong are only a subgroup within the broader linguistic and cultural family of Miao people and the vast majority of Miao people do not classify themselves as Hmong and have their own names for themselves. <laughs> Nomenclature, Miao and Hmong The term, Miao Gained official status in 1949 as a Minzu ethnic group encompassing a group of linguistically related ethnic minorities in southwest China. This was part of a larger effort to identify and classify minority groups to clarify their role in the national government, including establishing autonomous administrative divisions and allocating the seats for representatives in provincial and national government. Historically, the term Miao had been applied inconsistently to a variety of non Han peoples. Early Western writers used Chinese-based names in various transcriptions, Miao, Miao Ze, Miao Tsze, Meau, Mio, Mo, Miao Tseu etc. In Southeast Asian contexts words derived from the Chinese, Miao, took on a sense which was perceived as derogatory by the Hmong subgroup living in that region. In China, however, the term has no such context and is used by the Miao people themselves. Of every group, the increased presence of the Hmong subgroup outside of China has led to a situation where the entire Miao linguistic, cultural family is sometimes referred to as Hmong in English language sources. Following the recent increased interaction of Hmong in the West with Miao in China, it is reported that some upwardly aspiring non Hmong Miao have even begun to identify themselves as Hmong. However, most non Hmong Miao in China are unfamiliar with the term as referring to their entire group and continue to use Miao are their own separate ethnic self designation. Though the Miao themselves use various self designations, the Chinese traditionally classify them according to the most characteristic color of the women's clothes. The list below contains some of these self designations, the color designations, and the main regions inhabited by the four major groups of Miao in China. Ghao Zong, Qo Shang, Zong, Red Miao, Qo Shang Miao, West Hunan Gha Ne, Ka Nao, Hmub, Black Miao, Mhub Miao, Southeast Guzhao Ahmao, Big Flowery Miao, West Guzhao and Northeast Yunnan Gha Mu, Mung, Mong, White Miao, Green, Blue Miao, Small Flowery Miao, South and East Yunnan, South Sichuan and West Guzhao Topic. Demographics Topic. According to the 2000 census, the number of Miao in China was estimated to be about 9.6 million. Outside of China, members of the Miao linguistic, cultural family subgroup or nations of the Hmong live in Thailand, Laos, Vietnam and Burma due to outward migrations starting in the 18th century. 
As a result of recent migrations in the aftermath of the Indochina and Vietnam Wars from 1949 to 75, many Hmong people now live in the United States, French Guiana, France and Australia. Altogether, there are approximately 8 million speakers in the Miao language family. This language family, which consists of six languages and around 35 dialects some of which are mutually intelligible belongs to the Hmong, Miao branch of the Hmong Mien language family. The Hmong live primarily in the northern mountainous reaches of Southeast Asia including Thailand, Laos and Vietnam, and in far southwest China mostly in the provinces of Yunnan, Guangxi, and to a very limited extent in Guizhou. There are about 1.5 to 2 million Hmong in China. Note, the Miao areas of Sichuan province became part of the newly created Chongqing municipality in 1997. Most Miao currently live in China. Miao population growth in China 1,953 to 2,510,000 1,964 to 2,780,000 1,982 to 5,030,000 1,990 to 7,390, 0003, 600,000 Miao, about half of the entire Chinese Miao population, were in Guizhou in 1990. The Guizhou Miao and those in the following six provinces make up over 98% of all Chinese Miao. Hunan, 1,550,000 Yunnan, 890,000 Sichuan, 530,000 Guangxi, 420,000 Hubei, 200,000 Hainan, 50,000 known as Miao but ethnically Yao and Li in the above provinces, there are six Miao autonomous prefectures shared officially with one other ethnic minority. Qiandongnan Miao and Dong Autonomous Prefecture, Qian Dong Nan Qiandongnan, Guizhou Qianan Buye and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Qian Nan Qianan, Guizhou Changshinan Buye and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Qian Shi Nan Changshinan, Guizhou Shangxi Tujia and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Shangxi Shangxi, Hunan Wenshan Zhuang and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Meng, Wen Shan Wen Shan, Yunnan Unshi Tujia and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Enshi Unshi, Hubei There are in addition 23 Miao Autonomous Counties Hunan, Myang, Ma Yang Myang, Jingzhou, 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 and Chengbu, Shangbu, Shangbu. Guizhou, Songtao, Songdao, Songtao, Yingjiang, Yinjiang, Yinjiang, Wushuan, Wu Chuan, Wushuan, Dao Zhen, Dao Zhen, Dao Zhen, Jenning, 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 Ziyin, Ziyun, Ziyun, Guanling, 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 and Weining, Weining, Weining. Yunnan, Pingbian, 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 Jinping, 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 and Luquan, Luquan, Luquan. Chongqing, Shushan, 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 Yuyang, 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 Qinjiang, Qianjiang, Qinjiang, and Pengshui, Pengshui, Pengshui. Guangxi, Rongshui, 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 Longsheng, 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 and Longlin, 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 including Meng. Hainan Province, Chang, Changzhong, Changzhong, and Baoting, Baoting, Baoting. Most Miao reside in hills or on mountains, such as Wuling Mountain by the Changshong River, Shang Qian Chuan Bian de Wuling Shan, Shangkan Chuan Bian de Wuling Shan, Miao Mountain, Miao Ling, Miao Ling, Qiandongnan, Yulang Mountain, Yuliang Shan, Yulang Shan, Qiandongnan, Greater and Lesser Ma Mountain, Da Xiao Ma Shan, Da Xiao Ma Shan, Qianan, Greater Miao Mountain, Da Miao Shan, Da Miao Shan, Guangxi, Wumeng Mountain by the Tianqian River, Dian Qian Chuan Bian de Wu Men Shan, Tianqian Chuan Bian de Wu Meng Shan. Several thousands of Miao left their homeland to move to larger cities like Guangzhou and Beijing. There are 2 million Hmong spread throughout northern Vietnam, Laos, Burma, and on other continents. 174,000 live in Thailand, where they are one of the six main hill tribes. Topic: History. Topic: Topic: History according to Chinese legend and other considerations. Topic. 
According to Chinese legend, the Miao who descended from the Jiuli tribe led by Qiyu Chinese, Kai Yu Pinyin, Qiyu were defeated at the Battle of Zuolu, Zhoulu Zuolu, a defunct prefecture on the border of present provinces of Hebei and Liaoning by the military coalition of Huang Di, Huang Di Wang Di and Yan Di, leaders of the Waxia, Huaxia Waxia tribe as the two tribes struggled for supremacy of the Yellow River Valley. Archaeological discoveries Topic. According to André Georges Houdricourt and David Strecker's claims based on limited secondary data, the Miao were among the first people to settle in present-day China. They claim that the Han borrowed a lot of words from the Miao in regard to rice farming. This indicated that the Miao were among the first rice farmers in China. In addition, some have connected the Miao to the Dashi culture 5,300 to 6,000 years ago in the Middle Yangtze River region. The Dashi culture has been credited with being amongst the first cultivators of rice in the Far East by Western scholars. However, in 2006 rice cultivation was found to have existed in the Shandong province even earlier than the Dashi culture. Though the Yuzhang culture has cultivated rice, it is more of collected wild rice and not actual cultivated and domesticated rice like that of the Dashi. A Western study mentioned that the Miao, especially the Miao Hunan, have some DNA from the northeast people of China, but has origins in southern China. Recent DNA samples of Miao males contradict this theory. The white Hmong have 25% C, 8% D, and 6% N tat, yet they have the least contact with the Han population. Topic Chu Topic In 2002, the Chu language has been identified as perhaps having influence from Tai Cam and Miao Yao languages by researchers at University of Massachusetts Amherst. Topic Qin and Han Dynasties Topic The term Miao was first used by the Han Chinese in pre-Qin times in other words, before 221 BC for designating non-Han Chinese groups in the south. It was often used in combination, Nan Miao, Mao Min, Yu Miao, and San Miao, San Miao, San Miao. Topic Ming and Qing dynasties Topic During the Ming and Qing dynasties 1368-1911, Miao and Man were both used, the second possibly to designate the Yao, Yao, Yao people. The Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties could neither fully assimilate nor control the indigenous people. During the Miao rebellions, when Miao tribes rebelled, Ming troops, including Han Chinese, Wei people, and Uyghurs crushed the rebels, killing thousands of them. Mass castrations of Miao boys also took place. During the Qing dynasty the Miao fought three wars against the empire. In 1735 in the southeastern province of Guizhou, the Miao rose up against the government's forced assimilation. Eight counties involving 1,224 villages fought until 1738 when the revolt ended. According to Sheng Tan University professor Wu Haf the Miao population were affected by the war. The Second War involved the provinces of Guizhou and Hunan. Shi Sanbao and Shi Ludeng led this second revolt. Again, it ended in failure, but it took 11 years to quell the uprising. The greatest of the three wars occurred from 1854 to 1873. Zhang Shu Mei led this revolt in Guizhou until his capture and death in Changsha, Hunan. This revolt affected over one million people and all the neighboring provinces. By the time the war ended, Professor Wu said only 30% of the Miao were left in their home regions. This defeat led to the Hmong people migrating out of China. During Qing times, more military garrisons were established in southwest China. Han Chinese soldiers moved into the Taijiang region of Guizhou, married Miao women, and the children were brought up as Miao. In spite of rebellion against the Han, Hmong leaders made allies with Han merchants. Politically and militarily, the Miao continued to be a stone in the shoe of the Chinese Empire. The imperial government had to rely on political means to ensnare Hmong people, they created multiple competing positions of substantial prestige for Miao people to participate and assimilate into the Qing government system. During the Ming and Qing times, the official position of Qiatong was created in Indochina. The Miao would employ the use of the Qiatong government structure until the 1900s when they entered into French colonial politics in Indochina. Topic 20th century topic During the founding of the People's Republic of China PRC, the Miao played an important role in its birth when they helped Mao Zedong to escape the Kuomintang in the long march with supplies and guides through their territory. 
In Vietnam, a powerful Hmong named Vong Chin Duc, dubbed the King of the Hmong, aided Ho Chi Minh's nationalist move against the French, and thus secured the Hmong's position in Vietnam. During the Vietnam War, Miao fought on both sides, the Hmong in Laos primarily for the U.S., across the border in Vietnam for the North Vietnam Coalition, the Chinese Miao for the Communists. However, after the war the Vietnamese were very aggressive towards the Hmong who suffered many years of reprisals and genocide. Most Hmong in Thailand also supported a brief communist uprising during the war. Han Chinese origin Miao clans Topic. One of the origins of the Miao clan names originates from the great number of Hmong lineage clans that were founded by Chinese men who married Hmong women. These distinct Chinese descended clans practice Chinese burial customs instead of Hmong style burials. The Hmong children of Hmong women who married Chinese men was the origin of numerous China and Southeast Asia based Hmong lineages and clans. These were called Chinese Hmong, Hmong Sua. In Sichuan, the Hmong were instructed in military tactics by fugitive Chinese rebels. Marriages between Hmong women and Han Chinese men is the origin of many Hmong lineages and clans. Hmong women married Han Chinese men to found new Hmong lineages which use Chinese names. Chinese men who married into Hmong clans have established more Hmong clans than the Ritual Twelve. Chinese surname groups are comparable to the Hmong clans which are patrilineal, and practice exogamy. Hmong women married Han Chinese men who pacified Ah rebels who were fighting against the Ming dynasty, and founded the Wang clan among the Hmong in Gongzhen County, of Sichuan. S. Yi Bin district, Hmong women who married Chinese men founded a new Zem clan in a Hmong village among northern Thailand. S. Hmong, fifty years later in Changmei two of their Hmong boy descendants were Catholics. A Hmong woman and a Chinese man married and founded the Laoj clan in northern Thailand. A marriage between a Hmong woman and a Chinese man resulted in northern Thailand's Lao Tu clan being founded. Another Han Chinese with the family name Deng founded another Hmong clan, Han Chinese men. S. Marriages with Hmong women has led some ethnographers to conclude that Hmong clans in the modern era have possible all or partly have been founded in this matter. Yangshi Han Chinese are claimed by some as the forefathers of the southeast Guzhao Miao, and Miao children were born to the many Miao women married Han Chinese soldiers in Taijiang in Guzhao before the second half of the 19th century, imperially commissioned Han Chinese chieftaincies. Gone native with the Miao and were the ancestors of a part of the Miao population in Guzhao. The Meng Tian clan in Sizhou began in the 7th century as a migrant Han Chinese clan. Non-Han women such as Miao women became wives of Han Chinese male soldiers who fought against the Miao rebellions during the Qing and Ming dynasties since Han women were not available. The Ming dynasty Hongwu emperor sent troops to Guzhao whose descendants became the Tunbao. The origin of the Tunbao people traces back to when the Ming dynasty sent 300,000 Han Chinese male soldiers in 1381 to conquer Yunnan and the men married Yao and Miao women. The presence of women presiding over weddings was a feature noted in Southeast Asian marriages, such as in 1667 when a Miao woman in Yunnan married a Chinese official. Some sinicization occurred. In Yunnan, a Miao chief's daughter married a scholar in the 1600s who wrote that she could read, write, and listen in Chinese and read Chinese classics. The Sichuan Hmong village of Wangguo was visited by Nicholas Tapp, who wrote that the clan ancestral origin legend of the Wang Hmong clan had said that several times they were married into the Han Chinese and possibly one of these was their ancestor Wang Wu. There were two types of Hmong cooked who sided with Chinese and raw who rebelled against the Chinese, the Chinese were supported by the Wang Meng clan. A Meng woman was married by the non-Meng Wang Wu according to the story of the Ha kings in Wangwu village. Distribution By province the 2000 Chinese census recorded 8,940,116 Miao in mainland China. Provincial distribution of the Miao in mainland China Topic. By county Topic. County level distribution of the Miao in mainland China only includes counties or county equivalents containing greater than 0.25% of mainland China's Miao population. 
Topic: Gender roles. Topic. Topic. Women's status Topic. Compared to the Confucian principles traditionally exercised over women in the rest of China, the Miao culture is generally less strict in categorization of women's roles in society. Miao women exercise relatively more independence, mobility and sexual freedom. They are perceived as being wild and dangerous, and actively participate in farm work, strongly laboring in the fields with unbound feet. Silver jewelry is a well known craftwork of the Miao people. Apart from being a cultural tradition, it also symbolizes the wealth of Miao women. As a Miao saying goes, decorated with no silver or embroidery, a girl is not a girl. Miao women are occasionally defined by the amount of silver jewelry she wears or owns. It is especially important to wear heavy and intricate silver headdresses and jewelry during significant occasions and festivals, notably during weddings, funerals and springtime celebration. Silver jewelry is an essential element of Miao marriages, particularly to the bride. Miao families would begin saving silver jewelry for the girls at an early age, wishing their daughters could marry well with the large amount of silver jewelry representing the wealth of the family. Although a growing Miao population is moving from rural Miao regions to cities, the new generation respects the family's silver heritage and is willing to pass on the practice as a cultural tradition more than showcase of family wealth. Topic: <laughs> Workforce and income. Topic: Although Miao women's behavior are not strictly governed, their social status is often seen as lower than that of men. Be it in the subsistence economy or otherwise, men are the main labor force and provide the stable source of income for the family. Women are primarily involved in domestic chores, and additionally earn supplementary income. While tourism became a major economic activity to this ethnic group, Miao women have more opportunities to join the labor force and make their own money. Women mostly take up jobs that require an amiable and approachable personality, for example, selling souvenirs, flower wreaths, and renting ethnic costumes. These jobs require persuasion and hospitality and more visibility in public, but provide unstable and insecure income. On the contrary, Miao men take up jobs that require more physical strengths and less visibility in public, such as rickshaw pulling, sightseeing boatmen and drivers. These jobs generally provide a more stable and profitable source of income. The above example of unequal division of labor demonstrates, in spite of socioeconomic changes in the recent era, men are still considered the financial backbone of the family. Topic: <laughs> Marriage and family. Topic. While the Miao people have had their own unique culture, the Confucian ideology exerted significant influences on this ethnic group. It is expected that men are the dominant figures and breadwinners of the family, while women occupy more domestic rules. There are strict social standards on women to be virtuous wives and good mothers, and to abide by three obediences and four virtues, which include cultural moral specifications of women's behavior. A Miao woman also has more cultural freedom in marrying a man of her choice. Nonetheless, there are strict cultural practices on marriage, one being clan exogamy. It is a taboo to marry someone with the same family name, even when the couple are not blood-related or from the same community, in contrast to the common practice of the right of succession belonging to the firstborn son, the Miao's inheritance descends to the youngest son. The older sons leave the family and build their own residences, usually in the same village and close to the family. The youngest son is responsible of living with and caring for the parents, even after marriage. He receives a larger share of the family's heritage and his mother's silver jewelry collection, which is used as bridal wealth or dowry. Topic cuisine topic topic Miao fish Miao yu Miao yu topic Miao fish is a special way of cooking a fish by Miao people. It has been recognized as a local featured cuisine with its tasty flavor. The mixture of fish, green peppers, ginger slices and garlic provided people with great eating experience. Topic see also topic Qiyu ethnic groups in Chinese history Ethnic minorities in China History of China Hmong people Hmong customs and culture Hmong mean languages Languages of China List of Hmong, Miao people Pol worship Vang Pao topic References topic topic Citations topic topic Source topic Enwal, Jeokim. Thai Yunnan Project Newsletter, No. 17, Department of Anthropology, Australian National University, June 1992. 
Shine, Shine, Louisa 2000. Minority Rules, The Miao and the Feminine in China's Cultural Politics Illustrated, Reprint ed. Durham, North Carolina, Duke University Press. ISBN 0822324444X. Retrieved 24 April 2014. Gina Corrigan 2001. Miao Textiles from China. Seattle, University of Washington Press. ISBN 0-295-98137-7. Nicholas Tapp 2002. The Hmong of China, Context, Agency, and the Imaginary. Boston, Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 0-391-04187-8. Nicholas Tapp, Jean Michaud, Christian Kulas, Gary Yia Lee, eds. 2004. Hmong, Miao in Asia. Silkworm Books. ISBN 974-9575-01-6. David Deal and Laura Hostetler 2006. The Art of Ethnography, a Chinese Miao album. Seattle, University of Washington Press. ISBN 978-0295985435. Jin Dan, Zulang Ma 2006. Miao Hmong Creation Epics from Guzhou, China. Translated by Mark Bender. Indianapolis, Indiana, Hackett Publishing Company. ISBN 978-0872208490. Thomas Vang 2008. A History of the Hmong, From Ancient Times to the Modern Diaspora. Lulu.com. ISBN 978-1435709324. Feng, Shanghong, 2013. Women's Work, Men's Work, Gender and Tourism Among the Miao in Rural China. Anthropology of Work Review. 34. p. 4 10. Topic further reading Topic Tomoko Toromaru, September 1, 2008, One Needle, One Thread, Miao Hmong Embroidery and Fabric Piecework from Guzhou, China, University of Hawaii Art Gale Chian Lung Emperor of China 1810. The Conquest of the Miao Ze, an imperial poem, entitled A Choral Song of Harmony for the First Part of the Spring, T.R., by S. Weston, from the Chinese. Translated by Stephen Weston. London, printed and sold by C. and R. Baldwin, New Bridge Street, Black Friars. Retrieved 24 April 2014. Topic external links Topic Hmong Studies Internet Resource Center Hmongnet. Org. An album of the Miao minority from 1786 Map share of ethnic by county of China.